We are in the Catlins today, exploring for the next several days this area, the southernmost part of the South Island of New Zealand, including Slope Point, which is the southernmost point. And the Catlins are known for two main things, this beautiful rugged coastline and waterfalls in the Catlins Coastal Rainforest Park. The great thing about the Catlins is it is a bit off the beaten track in general. So in addition to the well-known sea caves and waterfalls, there's plenty of hidden gems to explore. And unfortunately this time of year, the cathedral caves, the biggest and most well-known of the sea caves here in the Catlins are actually closed. So we've been forced to take matters into our own hands, explore this rugged coastline and see what we can find. Looks like this could be interesting right here. The shape up top, I don't know, it might be a U shape because it looks like there's something over there. Beautiful though, like the pink. Oh wait, does it go through up top there? Interesting. Oh, this is. Look at how these boulders have rounded out this little, not quite a cave yet, although that looks open up there. What? I wonder if that opens up to the other side. But look how these, bo these boulders have rounded out this area. The waves have just churned these around like a giant rock tumbler and, and bored out this cave. And I think there's something open up the, the top there that uh, might be around the other side. ask me about the tide so usually we start something like this a little bit before low tide if it's further away to go we start like longer before low tide the goal is kind of to get to our turnaround point right at low tide so today we started like two hours before low tide ideally get to our turnaround point at low tide and then we have two hours with lower tide on the way back so high tide is six hours from low tide, a little bit more than six hours actually. So every 12 hours or a little bit more than 12 hours, the tides flip or repeat. So low tide, six hours later, high tide, six hours later, low tide. So far that's, I think that might be the favorite cave that we found today. A little bit of water in it. And, uh, but really the ultimate goal today something pretty special so I hope we make it there. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks awesome. There's like a rock ledge. I'm gonna go get up on the ledge.
Airborne. This crack goes through. I just saw some daylight over here. There's another crack. So, don't necessarily have to go back out that way, because this, whoa, look at this. What? Okay, I'll, I'll be over there in a second. Wow. So, so far, that's the most extensive little cave that we've seen with those offshoot cracks. And uh, we're still not even at the this island we're trying to get to that has supposedly another thing. We also found some other cracks over here. I want to check out on the way back. Somebody might live back here. There. It looks like there might be some poops. Uh, actually, I think that that's not poop. It's something else.
little swell. So we found this other cave. I think this is like the fourth cave or fifth cave we found. Comes all the way through and we totally missed this on the way out because it's, it's up on this little little ledge here. So I guess with a tide it's super high, it blasts water all the way through here like a cannon. Pretty cool. Infamous.